want to showcase your amazing team in style? In this video, we are exploring the team member block from Nexa Blocks, perfect for creating beautiful team profiles on your WordPress site. Choose from layouts like grid, masonry, or carousel. Add hover effects, filter by category, and highlight social links, all without writing a single line of code. I'll walk you through setting it up and customizing. So let's dive in. Before we start, make sure the default WordPress Gutenberg block editor is active on your site. Also make sure both the Nexta block free and pro plugin are installed and activated on your site. Step one, install both the Nexta block free and pro plugin. To do that, go to plugins, click on add new. Then in the search bar, search for Nexta blocks. This is the plugin, click on install now. Once done, click on activate. Now to install the Nexta block pro plugin, go to Nexta block, click on dashboard. Then from here, go to upgrade now here we'll see the benefits of upgrading to the pro plan again click on the upgrade now button here choose the plan that fits your need once you buy the plugin you will receive a zip folder with an activation code then come back to the site go to plugins click on add plugins go to upload plugins and here select the zip file click on install now then click on activate plugin now to activate the license go to next to blocks Click on Activate Pro and here you add the license key and click on Activate button. That's it. You have successfully activated the Nexta Block Pro plugin. Step 2. Activate the Team Members Block. To do that, go to Nexta Blocks, then Blocks and search for Team Member. This is the block. Enable it and click on Save Settings. Let's see the settings of Team Member Block from Nexta Blocks. Under the content layout, we'll find four predefined styles. Style 1, Style 2, Style 3, and Style 4. As you can see, all will add unique look to your team member listing. Let's continue with Style 1 for now. Then from the layout, you can select a grid layout, a masonry layout, or a carousel layout. We'll see each layouts one by one. Let's continue with the grid layout. Then from the content alignment, you can align the content from the display designation toggle, you can show or hide the team member designation. From the display is social icon toggle, you can show or hide the social icons. From the disable link toggle, you can disable all the link added to the team members listing items. Then from the title tag, you can change the team member title tag. From the image size toggle, you can adjust the image size. Then from the content source, you can add the team member using these repeater items. Let's see the options. From the name, you can adjust the name. You can add an image. Then you can add a designation. You can add a category that can be used to filter the member items by category. We'll see that later in this video. You can add multiple categories separated by comma. In the single page URL field, you can add an external link to the member listing item. This link will be disabled if we disable this link toggle. You can also directly edit the text from here then from the website url you can add a link for the website you can add social links like facebook links email link instagram twitter linkedin link you can also add a phone number for each team member you can click on the add team member button to add more items or you can click on this plus button to add new or minus to remove team members then from the column manager section you can set how many columns you want to show in a row and adjust the column gaps then from the filter tab you can add a category based filter by enabling the category wise filter we'll see that in a bit let's quickly see the other layouts this is the masonry layout here again we'll find same option now let's see the carousel option there's a carousel option in the column manager field you can set how many columns you want in a single slide now let's see the category filter option for this you have to add a category to each team member like we have added over here then go to filters and enable the category wise filter for all category text you can add a text then from the filter style you can select different predefined styles then filter hover style you can select from four predefined styles and on the filter alignment you can set the alignment of the filter now let's see how it looks In the style tab, you'll find all the options required to customize this block. In the title tab, you can adjust the title typography or you can add 
a global typography as well. You can adjust the title color for normal and overstates. If you added designation, you can adjust the designation typography, text color for normal and overstates. From the social icons tab, you can adjust the social icon size, icon width. You can adjust the icon color, background color for normal and overstates. Then from the featured image tab, you can adjust the team member image. You can adjust margin, padding, border radius, in a background color. You can add different CSS filters and box shadow for normal and overstates. Then from the box loop background tab, you can add padding, you can add border, border radius for normal and hover states, background, box shadow for normal and hover states to each team member item. If you have selected the carousel layout, then we'll see this carousel option. From here, you can customize the carousel style. You can set the slider mode to horizontal or vertical. You can adjust the slider speed. You can select an active slide. And from the next previous drop down, you can slide one column or all visible columns at once. Then you can adjust the column gap. You can make the slider draggable. You can make the slider infinite loop infinitely. Then from the pause and hover toggle, you can pause the slider and hover. From the auto play toggle, you can auto play the slider. You can adjust the auto play speed. From the show dots toggle, you can add dots navigation. You can add different predefined styles for the dots. You can adjust the border color. You can adjust the above spacing from on hover dots toggle. You can show the dots on mouse over only. On the show arrow toggle, you can add arrow navigation. You can select a predefined style. You can adjust the background color, icon color, hover background color, hover icon color. From the outer arrows toggle, you can set the arrows outside the slider. From on hover arrow toggle, you can show that arrows on mouse over only. Then from the center mode, you can adjust the center slide style. You can add padding. You can add slide effects to the center slide. You can set normal opacity for other slides. From the trim space toggle, you can trim some spaces. From the wheel navigation toggle, you can change the slide with mouse wheel. By enabling the wait for transition toggle, you can change the slide only after the transition ends. Then from the keyboard navigation toggle, you can change the slide with your keyboard arrows. Then from the auto scroll toggle, you can allow auto scrolling. You can adjust the speed of the slider as well. From extra options tab, you can make unique column alignment. By enabling the messy columns toggle, you can move up and down six columns individually for different devices. Now, if you've selected the style four option, you'll find an additional styling option. You'll find this shape option style four tab. From here, you can add a custom mask image in PNG format. You can also adjust image shadow. From here, you can add an extra image to add an extra layer. For the extra layer, you can add different animation effects like this. You can play the animation on mouse hover by enabling the on mouse hover animation toggle. If you have enabled this category filter toggle, then I will see this filter category tab in the style tab. From here, you can adjust the filter typography. You can adjust padding, margin. You can adjust the category filter color, background, border, count background, count background color, category count color, count box shadow for normal and hover states. In the advanced tab, you will find some additional styling options to style the container of this block, which we have covered in a separate video. So that's it for the team member block. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and do subscribe to the channel for more content like this.